We all own shoeboxes of dusty memories hidden in closet spaces. The 90s nostalgia of your childhood all on physical photographs, most likely the only copies that will ever exist. Your first birthday, your first day of kindergarten, or holiday family gatherings, all safely stored away in a book somewhere. Nowadays, we've stopped putting our photographs in albums and have begun littering our phones with countless copies of the exact same photo, trying to get the perfect one or the perfect feed. We're destroying the value of the subject we capture. Think of instant photography as an example. I started shooting film last year. My lack of personal photos sparked an interest in film and my weekly thrift shop adventures brought home several vintage cameras. After much research, I found it was possible to use Polaroid land cameras with readily made film at a low cost. A problem you often run into with old equipment. But with good looking film, improved technical skills and a lot of practice, I was able to take photos I could hold in two minutes or less and that I was proud to hand away to a friend. You can take thousands of pictures on your digital camera or on just one SD card. Film photography, on the other hand, makes each individual photo more sentimental and permanent. There are several mishaps that come with shooting film. A few camera mishaps, chemical developments, overexposures, out of focus shots, and many other possibilities can make film look like an inconvenient expense compared to your phone. Although, your phone does make it easier to share your outlook on life. In reality, instant gratification takes away from the genuine setting and most photos will end up edited or deleted. Another reason to shoot film is simply you cannot manipulate the way it looks. It captures the moment in its time and its raw state. The problem is not which technology we choose to use. We need to avidly create keepsakes that will last as far into our futures. Digital media is a great advantage we all can use, but can we trust it? Where we put our creations will ultimately decide how they will last. However you choose to save them, it's so important that we take these steps to keep our high school years alive, so that we don't find ourselves struggling at the age of 27 to remember our 2008 PC password. Then you can decide which was more convenient, print or digital.